Guten Tag, Observer. As you can see, I am starting a new series called Let's Play Sid Meier's Pirates. Um, if you're following me, I, I'm also doing a Let's Play series of Silent Hunter 5. Um, however, that game tends to get a little... Um, tends to bog down the mind a little bit. Because um, a lot of the attacks usually take about an hour to plan out and um, everything. And it's nice to have a little bit of a reprieve. Um, of, from that. So I decided I'd play a lighthearted game such as Sid Meier's Pirates, um, which is an amazing game. Um, notably, it has a campaign story, um, which is pretty simple to understand, um, but it, it doesn't limit you to the story. You can also just go around doing your own thing as it is a sandbox game, and there's plenty of things to do, which I appreciate. And so, um, let's go ahead and dive right in. It began with a ce celebration. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Mon Montalban, <laughs> a family's prosperity was soon to be restored. The fleet was due to arrive on the morrow, carrying both their hopes and their salvation. But the celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest. The Marquis himself had arrived with bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost, and the debt had come due. The family's pro property was seized, and they were pressed into bondage. But one of them would not be a slave. Who would want to? So throwing a sword aside, he runs out into the dark alleyways to escape. And so it was that the brave young Sion escaped his family's fate. Swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis's foul deed. Ten years later. Now grown full to his measure, The young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune by walking into a bar, as all men do. Seeking patches to the world you acquire at a public house. If you're looking for a passage to the Americas, you can sign up here, laddie. Okay, so here's the new game screen. Um, we're going to choose uh, Ulstein Rembrandt for this character here. Um... Which I'll explain why I chose him instead of another one uh, later in the video. Okay, so. Um, when you start a game, well, if you first, first, first start the game, like fresh install, you don't even get these options. You just get um, your name. Um, but basically, um, the game has different difficulty levels, starting from Apprentice, moves on to Journeyman, Adventure, Rogue, Swashbuckler, as you can see here. Um, and these difficulty levels, they really amp up things, um, if I remember correctly. Like, the difference between them are just astronomical. Um, and as you can see, it also changes your uh, the demeanor of your character here as he becomes more in a aggressive or defensive posture as you progress. Um, we're going to start as an adventurer, because if you start as an apprentice, you don't get to select what era you want to start in. Okay, so I'm going to go with the journeyman. And um, you, you start with five skills, as can be seen, fencing, gunnery, na uh, navigation, medicine, and charm. Um, and they each do their own thing. Obviously, fencing's better at sword fighting. Gunnery um, actually makes you better with cannons, not like with pistols or anything. Navigation lets you helps you sail in against the wind, which um, can be helpful in some instances. Um, skill at medicine actually pro prolongs your life, which is an interesting concept in this game. Um, as you, as the game progresses, um, times time moves on and you get older. And as you get older, it becomes harder and harder for you to fight. And um, one thing I don't know if medicine keeps you young, but I know that it prolongs your life. And if it gets to the point where you cannot fight anymore. 
Um, basically, you have to rely on your crew, um, your shipman skills um, to survive and carry on past that point, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, and it, it gets really frustrating. Sometimes you just want to throw your hands up and quit the game because you're too old. And at that point, you can just retire. Um, but anyway, since I chose Journeyman or higher, I can choose my starting date, um, which ranges from the 1600s to, to 1680. Okay, um, in the beginning, well, basically, the earlier you set it, the more Spain has a, po has a power. Um and the less settlements they have. Um, for example, there's barely any colonies in the merchants and s smugglers section, and there's not really that great of warships around, but the Spanish has a bigger presence in relation to the other nations. Um, and new colonists, obviously, there's more settlements to attack. Um, I, I personally like uh, War P for Profit because there's a nice balance between um, settlements and military power, um, where the military is not quite as strong, and there's there's only a, there's a lot of settlements, but not too many, I'd say. Um, Buccaneer, Buccaneers, heroes, the military is a little bit powerful, more powerful, and there's a lot of ports to attack, so um, that's your default option. Uh, and then there's Pirate Sunset, where there's a lot of ports and they have a lot of defenses and so I'm gonna go with war for profit okay and um, I think I'm gonna go with gunnery for this I actually um, fencing um, like I said as you get older um, you have a problem fighting and fencers actually fencing is actually a great skill um, because one it'll make you faster um, when you start out but it will also make you faster as you get older um, which is very important. Um, but I'm going to go with gunnery, because I like to have naval battles. So, now that we have everything selected, let's start. You need to sign the papers as part of the crew. The captains at yonder table will gladly take you aboard. There be French, Spanish, Dutch, and English ships are looking for able bodied lads such as yourself. Take your pick. Okay, so. We have the English, of course, French, Spanish there in the back there, looking mischievous with his big pompous hat. But we're going to go with the Dutch. Um, I like his posturing back here. It's pretty cool. I like that the candle's flickering. But I, I like playing as a Dutch. They're kind of like the underdog. They don't have that many settlements. And it's kind of enjoyable to um, play as them, in my opinion. So I'm going to start this with uh, the Dutch. Cute worry. Yes. Welcome aboard, Mr. Ofstein Rembrandt. We sail with the tide. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. Look at them swells. The captain drove the ship and her crew to, to the breaking point. Particularly with my back right here. Don't you dare touch my locket. Okay. Pushed beyond all decency, the crew mutinies. And the fat man raises his sword and yells. And then a cannon is shot if you cannot hear it. Raising alarm to the acrobats above. Who sees that the mast is about to be shot with a cannon. Swoops down and roundhouse kicks the captain in the face and forces him to surrender at cutlass point. Thrown overboard and free, uh, free and under full sail, the captain and his crew set off and make your way into the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. family to rescue, but most importantly, revenge to be served. Your destiny awaits you. Okay. That was a nice little introduction.
Ugh, I don't like starting here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, talk to the governor. Wait My dear, time. Mr. Ofstein Rembrandt, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French. Alpha, we are pl I am pleased to offer you a letter of marquee which authorizes you to plunder and sink ships of our enemies. We'd like to show you... This map will show the nearest enemy city is French city of uh, Montessera, which lies a short distance to the southeast. The French language typically drops the last consonant, by the way. That's why I said Montessero, well, Montessera, instead of Montessaret. Anyway. So, we initially, it looks like we're initially wanting to attack a ship here. That's cool. In fact, a juicy French ocean baroque was seen this morning headed in that direction. Okay. Till next time, Mr. Ulfstein Rembrandt. Till next time. Okay, so basically, um, this is port. Um, you can talk to, well, each of these has their own special function, of course. Talking to the governor, you get promotions and such like that for your deeds. Um, there's also an interesting side game where you get to um, basically chat up the governor's daughter and try to get special items to help you um, throughout the game. Um, you can also visit the tavern uh, where you can get men for your missions. Welcome aboard, mates. Okay, you got this mystery man in the corner that likes to give you information for random places. He also sells items and helps you with your quest. Okay, population that. This is a pretty worthless settlement unless you have luxuries. Um, let's see. You can talk to the barmaid. She can tell you if there's um, interesting ships in the area. So there's one going out that way. We're going down here, so we can ignore that. And the bartender tells you some stuff, too. Okay, so obviously the governor's daughter is um, of Saint Kitts is a beauty. Okay. Oh, darn it. I don't really care for the English, so that doesn't matter. Okay, um, there is an economy in this game, uh, a trading economy. Wow, 44 gold for luxuries. Yeah, so this place is better to sell luxuries at than um, whatever that place that guy in the bar was trying to tell us. Don't listen to the guys in the bar. They'll send you on wild goose chases. Um, there's also a shipwright who can help upgrade your ship and such and repair it if it's damaged. And... Um, that's pretty much it with port. Um, if you've been out sea for too long and your men appear to be mutinous, you can divide the plunder to divide the wealth that you've gained amongst the crew. And then um, you can check status and sail away. So we're going to go and ahead and sail away and chase this Baroque that just came out of port. I always like to attack from the left. From the lower left. I mean lower right, sorry. And um, we're going to go ahead and attack this ocean baroque uh la reunion and i'm using my flagship the revenge with uh which is a brigantine which is a decent ship uh that the dutch start out with okay oh wow cannons are blazing do i have chain shot yes okay oh my goodness okay if you're not into nautical gaming um, of this era. There are th basically three types of shot that are used. I'm getting creamed here. There is a round shot, which is good at destroying the hull of enemy ships. My stuff is not landing. Shoot higher, men. Oh, or actually hit them, one of the two. I thought I chose gunnery as the good thing here. That's a good one. There we go. Okay. The ship has surrendered. But anyway, there's chain shot, um, which damages the sails. There's grape shot, which damages the crew. And then there's round shot, um, which damages the ship. For the most part, I um, damage the sails 
and I try to get the ships to surrender, like I just did here. Um, and I should have shown you how you can tell if a ship surrendered, but I guess I'll show you in the next one. Okay, so whenever you um, capture a ship, you have a chance of gaining some crewmen and various other things. You plunder it. We're going to take all luxuries. That's good. And we're going to keep the ship instead of sinking it so that we can haul these extra goods back to port. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're back to St. Eustatus. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll just say State Saint U uh, Eustace. That's all I'm going to say. It. I can't pronounce that. Okay, so we're going to trade, sell everything that we gained, which was luxuries, which is going to give us a mad amount of gold for that. And then we're going to consort the shipwright, sell this ship, because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the ship with uh, fine grain powder. We're going to visit the tavern. Still no men. Uh, location of pirate. Uh, not right now. Maybe later. Okay, this is still the Victoria. Okay. Now we're going to talk to the governor. Because we completed our quest. Understand that you recently captured a French ocean barrack. Excellent. The, cle the king will be pleased. Soon you'll be promoted to captain. Till next time. Okay. Well, I think this is a good stopping for point for this Let's Play. Um, in the next episode, I'm probably going to be going to another place. Um, I'm not particularly a fan of this area of um, where I'm currently at in the Caribbean, so I'm probably going to sail south to um, another du Dutch port. Uh, but until then, off Vedozane.